Right, wondering what to take to a festival. This is what I'm taking to download festival this year. It's a good, good general idea of things that you should take with you. So, first off, your ticket. Don't forget your ticket. I have known people that have done it before. It's quite embarrassing getting there and having to go back to home again and fetch it. Thing, your tent. You may wonder what the sheet is for. This will reflect the sun and keep your tent nice and cool in the morning. So when you wake up, it's not boiling hot, or not as hot anyway. After that, you'll need rucksack, self-explanatory, airbed. I wouldn't recommend a five-day festival without an airbed. Certainly, I wouldn't do one. Sleeping bag, it's actually a double one, nice and big. What's that? Keeping your phones charged. I don't recommend these, these solar panel things. They're okay once they're charged up, but they don't seem to charge up fast enough. I'd recommend something more like this. This was £20 from Amazon and should charge your phone like five or six times. So they seem to be a lot better rather than solar powered ones. Beer, pretty much self explanatory. Food, festival food is really expensive. I would recommend at least cooking some of your own stuff, bringing some own things. Pringles are good because they don't get squashed. Cereal bars. Pot noodles in the bottom. Pot noodles, anything that you don't have to wash up is a good idea. For cooking, I use these, this tang tangier stove. It's a meth stove. Just check to see whether or not you can actually bring them in to the festivals. Not all of them allow them. They all usually allow barbecues in, so they're always good. Uh, something to light it with. Doesn't work. Toilet roll. Just take some, just in case. Be on the safe side. Uh, baby wipes. Festivals do tend to have showers, but they're not the most hygienic places. Um, they're usually alright, um, but just take some baby wipes. Um, they're a really good idea. Just clean your hands, clean your uh, anything pretty much with them and they're disposable as well don't forget sun cream that's a factor 50 uh, you know it's, sometimes they are, they are um, sunny you never know so I would recommend being a sun cream hand sanitizer best to be on the safe side clean your hands after everything first aid kits always you know just plasters and that sort of thing just in case uh, I really recommend bringing earplugs you know so you can actually sleep at night. They are quite a noisy place sometimes. This stuff's pretty good as well if you've got long hair or even if you've got short hair. Um, dry shampoo, recommend that. Poncho, one of these disposable ones. Roll up nice and small, put in your pocket. Just like wearing a bin bag really, but it will keep you dry when it rains. And if not, you'll end up buying one there at about two or three pound each. After that, camping chairs, you can kind of buy them there. Um, you don't have to bring them with you. I bring this one with me because I've had it years and it seems to last. I bought that at a festival. It's fine. As much as I hate wellies, I would advise bringing them. They do tend to get muddy as soon as it rains. Bring a flag. Flags are cool. And solar lights too. campsite games they're quite you know you've got a couple of days before the music starts and that sort of thing so just for a bit of a laugh inflatables are always fun as well if you're taking all this stuff you might want to bring a trolley this is my trolley bring a heavy duty one because on the way in you will see a trail of broken trolleys so I recommend bringing a decent one this one was actually made out of lawnmower wheels I made this myself so and it's survived three or four festivals now but yeah, that's pretty much it.